college, costs a fortune. Most Americans can't afford tuition. Fortunately, some colleges now put their professors' lectures online so everyone can learn. Here's a sample. How we derive energy from triglyceride. This Berkeley video makes chemistry interesting. Because carbon and hydrogen are nonpolar, those are insoluble. For five years, anyone could access 20,000 videos on Berkeley's website. But then, President Obama's Justice Department sent Berkeley this threatening letter. Berkeley's in violation of Title II. The Attorney General may initiate a lawsuit. It's all because of a well-intended law called the Americans with Disabilities Act. Both blatant and subtle discrimination. A young Al Gore pushed for that law. President Bush Sr. signed it. Both parties applaud. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Who could object to a law that says no individual with a disability shall be denied the benefits of services? But as usual, the good intentions had unintended consequences. All lectures are being deleted, so now no one can access them. Berkeley took its videos down because closed captioning is expensive. It has to be done by a person who listens and then types out each word. Computers can transcribe cheaply, but they're lousy at it. When a Harvard video said, on our campus, it was transcribed as hot camp and good. Our experienced transcriptionists will perfectly transcribe your recordings Berkeley didn't want to spend millions on companies like this, so it blocked everyone from seeing its lectures. Everyone's treated equally. Hearing people have no advantage over the deaf. Nobody gets to see the videos. Government equality police doing their work. But fortunately, the videos will survive thanks to the internet and pissed off entrepreneurs like Jeremy Kaufman. We're gonna keep it available. Kaufman downloaded all the Berkeley videos before they were taken down and reposted them to his website, library, spelled funny. The Justice Department might say, you're, you're making life tougher for deaf people. I don't think anyone thinks that it wouldn't be better if stuff were subtitled for deaf people, but at the same time, it's ridiculous to say this content can't be available unless it's subtitled for deaf people. Kaufman says he wants to help deaf people, but when closed captioning costs millions, is that a reason that content shouldn't be available to everyone? Do you want to put a gun to someone's face and say, caption those videos? It's absurd. It is absurd. But what government does is often absurd. Thank goodness for the internet and people like Kaufman, someone willing to spend his own money to keep information free.